You can read more about many of the stories in this week's show in the current issue of Mohawk Valley Living Magazine, available the first of the month at hundreds of advertiser locations and online at mohawkvalleyliving.com. The Steet Ponte Auto Group in Yorkville and Herkimer and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. We are here in Clinton, right in the heart of Clinton, at a store called Signature 81. We will be traveling all through the Mohawk Valley, including a little visit to the Jones family farm. So stay tuned. See snow falling down, happy people all around, singing songs of Christmas cheer. Well, here we are again. It's the front end of what is promising to be another long winter in the Mohawk Valley. And we have a lot of uh, landmark storms to look back on over the, the years. And that's what this month's article is, is really about. It's just a photo montage of a couple big ones uh, in, the, in the teens and 1920s that really shut down the area. And uh, you can't get away from the snow and the winter weather and the inconvenience of travel at this time of the year, no matter how good your snow removal technology is. So it's nice to be able to look back sometimes in these photo retrospectives and realize that for uh, as, as inconvenient as uh, the snows can be, uh, previous generations had it a lot more difficult as, as far as trying to travel because they simply didn't have the tools uh, and the infrastructure needed to uh, to get the snows out of the way. And when you get up on top of Paris Hill and the wind is howling and, and you've got you know two or three feet of snow and you can't see more than a few feet in front of your vehicle, uh, just take heart in knowing that uh, you certainly aren't the first to experience that or we're not the first generation to experience it and I doubt if we'll be the last. It's not what you take to give, it's here I want to be. Trust your personal, business, and life insurance planning to a local company with over 150 years of serving the community. Turn to Turnbull Insurance. Call today to see what we can do for your family or business. 735-9201 or visit turnbull-insurance.com. The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service in Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion, and in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. Fall is our favorite season at the Fly Creek Cider Mill. With our fresh sweet cider stacked apple room and our very own fudge and cheese, you've got the perfect recipe for a delicious visit. To celebrate, we're giving away free fall favorites with our It's Crunch Time coupon craze. Get a $25 gift card, meal deals, a free half gallon of cider, and more. We're a short drive from anywhere in the Mohawk Valley, close to Cooperstown. For more information, visit flycreek.com. For over 70 years, Locally owned Whiteman Lumber has been the place to find quality, locally sourced hardwood. Buy direct from the manufacturer through our retail outlet in Portlandville, New York. Learn more at whitemanlumber.com. The Village Crossing has cool coats, sweaters, boots, mittens, and scarves to keep you warm this winter. There are also plenty of sparkles to make your spirits bright. Shop The Village Crossing on West Park Row in Clinton. Shop the 3,000 square feet spilling over with antiques at the Potting Shed, specializing in American coins, costume jewelry, and fine jewelry, as well as early lighting, stoneware, china, and furniture. The Potting Shed, over 40 years in the same location at 52 Ariscany Boulevard in Whitesboro. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. I love Mohawk Valley Living. We love Mohawk Valley Living. I love Mohawk Valley Living. I love Mohawk Valley Living. I love Mohawk Valley Living. See the snow falling down. Happy people.
people all around singing songs of Christmas cheer. We love shopping the local craft fairs that take place throughout November. But just because it's now December doesn't mean you can't still shop local crafts. Many artisans' products are found at local shops, on their websites, or you can shop your own town or village on Etsy. We visited with a few artisans at the Sequoia Valley Fine Arts and Crafts Show last month. Oh, I, it came about probably for, from uh, about 20 years ago. I had uh, no skills. No, I, <laughs> and uh, my, I got married and my wife went to wet school and I had time on my hands, so I bought a $100 table saw and this is what it turned into. <laughs> wow, wow. And obviously over the years I've acquired more tools, and, uh, but this is what it turned into. Now does this take a lot of patience and accuracy? Actually I'm not a very patient guy, but yeah. with, the, with this stuff I am. <laughs> with this stuff I am and uh, um, I guess I'm, I'm very meticulous when it comes to stuff like this. With uh, other aspects of my life, no. <laughs> so do you like working uh, with wood? Yeah, 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 actually, I mean, it's uh, it actually, uh, I guess it's kind of my uh, thing I go to, you know. Relaxing? When, yes, it, 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 very, very much so, very much so. And, uh, and the fact that my wife and my kids don't mind that I do it, because it, it, takes, it takes time and, uh, you know, and if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do it. So we are Serene and Evergreen. Uh, my wife does all the knitting. I'm the muscle helping out, I guess. Spokesperson. Yeah, spokesperson. And uh, yeah, so she makes all knitted stuff. Uh, she has uh, scarves, hats, headbands, market bags, wall hangings, and uh, cool stuff like that. Uh, we have a nice uh, online presence uh, with social media and Instagram. She does really great on Instagram. And I uh, also have a website, Serene and Evergreen. Co. So how's this craft fair been for you? Uh, yeah, this craft fair has been awesome. A lot of great people coming through, a lot of awesome conversations we've been having, and uh, it's just been nice to just talk to people and The snow hang doesn't out. help selling scarves and things. I mean, <laughs> the snow's been a great help. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, this is definitely our season uh, when we keep uh, people nice and warm and be able to provide the gift of warmth for everyone. This is really awesome. I was, I'm always crafty, you know, and uh, I, I, after I made that, I says, well, you know, I like the steampunk, so we did a couple of steampunk lamps, and then I says, well, you know, I found these bulbs, they come, uh, what do you call them, fireworks bulbs, and I made a whole bunch of those, the kids love that, and then uh, the Crocs, I saw a Croc, and I'm interested in a bit of Utica history, especially East Utica, and so I made those out and then it just kept going. <laughs> so you can make a lamp out of pretty much anything. everything. That one lamp there with the fence post, that's from my swimming pool post. It rotted away about 10 years ago and I saved it. <laughs> and I just, uh, it, it came out real well cleaning it up and all that. So this is how you're keeping busy in your retirement? Yeah, sort of. I thought I would have some free time this year, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> We have fudge, we have uh, lollipops, chocolate lollipops, Oreos, a lot of different stocking stuffers. We have all kinds of old fashioned candy at the store. Um, we're gonna be having cookie trays, um, pina lots. Well, tell me a little bit about that. You said your husband makes them. My husband makes them and they are, um, it's a sweet dough, um, f deep fried and then covered with honey. And they're awesome. And what's the origin of that? Or is it's, it? it's from a region in Italy. Um, I'm not sure what the what the region is, but um, his mother always made them and passed it down to him. And then he's he came up with a chocolate version, so that's his own version. So that's kind of cool. We make everything that's here um, at the store. We have all kinds of candies and, like I said, the old fashioned the old fashioned things, the little cigarettes and um, cigars and bubblegum cigars and things like that. We have a full candy case with all kinds of truffles, beautiful gorgeous truffles that are great for gift giving and so yeah <laughs> it is it is a very busy time <laughs>
You can find these and other local artisans' work at the Artisans' Corner and Almost Local in Clinton, the Mohawk Valley Center for the Arts in Little Falls, So Sweet Candy Cafe in Utica, and more information and links on our website, mohawkvalleyliving.com. If you need to get into the holiday spirit, just walk through the doors of Oak and Ivy Bed and Breakfast in Rome. You'll be transported back to the wide-eyed wonder of childhood when you see Christmas trees sparkling in every room. This wonderland is created by garden designer Frederick Rice, who brings a touch of England to Rome. The house lends itself to, to the holidays, there's no doubt about it. I mean, a house like this really needs to be decorated, and the people who had it before me, I think, were here for 56 years, and, and I don't think they ever let anybody in the house. But it's so one of the first things I decided when I came in here was where the Christmas tree was going to go, and little did I know that eventually it would turn into 18 Christmas trees. At least that's what it was last year. People keep asking me, how many trees this year? And I said, I don't know, we'll see what happens. It just it, They just kind of evolve. And they have themes. They do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the uh, vintage, the air Heirloom tree, as we call it, is probably my, I guess that's probably my favorite one because it, it, they're, they're ornaments on the tree that go back to the 1880s, 1885-ish from both sides of the family, both the English side and the American side, and, and they've been added to, of course, over the last hundred and however many years that figures, but it, and then the, the end of the sea tree is, is a great fun. This year it was a bit of a challenge in that it fell over after it was decorated. Not cool. That was not a good thing. And then the, uh, the garden tree, I'm a garden designer, among other things, so the, the the garden tree evolved and that's in the library and I keep moving the trees around as well because we get people coming back year after year for various events and so forth and, and they say, oh, where's my favorite tree? And I said, well, what's your favorite tree? And they said, oh, the solstice tree. I said, well, it's in the dining room this year. So last year it was in the, in the main drawing room and now this year the heirloom tree is in the drawing room. And so, I mean, they, things do move around. Well, I have a background in, de in interior design as, anyway, but I started collecting when I was a kid. And I think it, it's that whole nostalgia thing, too. I mean, we're living in a world that, that's getting more and more automated and, and technological. And I don't know, there's something about Christmas that, that is frozen in time. And that, to me, I think is probably the, the main point and, and why the house gets transferred. Every year I say, I'm not going to do this again. And then, of course, yeah, every year I do. So, it's, so Christmas is upon us again, or, or the solstice or Yule or whatever you want to call it. Everybody's now happy holidays, but it's whatever you celebrate. Come here and celebrate it. <laughs> You're invited to a holiday house tour and afternoon tea at Oak and Ivy. Teas are every Sunday in December from 2.30 to 6, $15 per person. Call for reservations or to schedule a private tea. Oak and Ivy is located at 600 North George Street in Rome and online at oakandivybedandbreakfast.com. You work hard here in the Mohawk Valley. You make a difference. You leave your mark. You deserve a financial advisor who works to make a difference for your future. We work together for you. Investing for retirement, college, thinking about your legacy. Our team is dedicated to giving you straightforward answers for your financial decisions. We pride ourselves on being local, prudent, and trustworthy. For you, Van Meter and Van Meter, for your financial future. Hobby Hill Farm Sales is your outdoor equipment store. Check out their new location and large inventory of Mahindra tractors and utility vehicles at the corner of Turin and Elmer in Rome. Meelan's Market is your holiday meat headquarters, featuring low-salt, low-fat smoked ham and store-made kielbasa. Try their famous crown roast of pork or prime rib, and be sure to pre-order your fresh seafood and shrimp platters. Meelan's Market, at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. Shop Black Cat Antiques and Gifts in Earlville for furniture, hand stenciled signs, and vintage clothing. A little bit country and a little bit primitive. 14 East Main Street, Earlville. Fire up your holidays with Hot Club Cool Yule, a swinging gypsy wagon ride to the North Pole with the Hot Club of San Francisco on Friday, December 14th at 7 p.m. This free concert is part of the Robert H. Wood Great Artist Series at Herkimer College. 
Join in on one of the region's best loved holiday traditions. Candlelight evening at the Farmer's Museum is filled with warm bonfires, savory foods, wagon rides, music, and hundreds of luminaries. Join the fun, Saturday, December 8th from 3 to 7 at the Farmer's Museum in Cooperstown. Buy tickets online at farmersmuseum.org. Your news, talk, and sports authority. Talk Radio, AM 1450, WKAL, Rome, Utica. The 10th annual Christmas in Little Falls is a fun family holiday celebration on Saturday, December 8th. Fun free events, shopping, dining, and a spectacular indoor craft fair and farmer's market. Enjoy a visit with Santa, live music, horse and carriage rides, historical tours, open houses, and more. Get the whole family in the holiday spirit on Saturday, December 8th during Christmas in Little Falls. Traveling round. When we were making up holiday gift baskets for local items, we wanted to find baskets that were made locally too, and discovered Adirondack Basketry in Rome. Linda Schurz is a master basket weaver. She also teaches the craft at workshops all over the eastern United States. Well, I have been weaving 31 years since this fall. I hit my 31 year mark and I um, it was there? it was a move oh, it was a move north, and I was asked to join a ladies group. And the first night I went to meeting, learned how to make this six inch melon basket. Six hours later, I thought, oh yeah, this is cool. So I made a few more of those, and then I went to a one night class and made another basket. And then I ordered some materials in a book because I wanted to make Easter baskets for my kids, and. Uh, Right off the bat, started making some modifications because I had this vision in my mind what I wanted the Easter baskets to be, and that started the designing thing. So I just kept on going. It's taken me on a lot of different avenues over the years, but I've really enjoyed it to where, you know, the traveling, the teaching now, and I've met a lot of great people, and oh, I just love it, and I love uh, sharing what I know with other people, whether it's uh, they're talking as far as the baskets that I have, they're looking at my baskets or out in the basket world where I'm teaching a lot of classes. And when someone comes in and maybe they're hesitant about whether they could really do this or not and the transformation through the course of the day as they're progressing and they're actually weaving basket and then when they have their finished basket and they're all excited that I did this and it's it's very fulfilling that just it keeps me going to learn more about Linda Schurz and Adirondack Basketry visit adirondackbasketry.com where you can shop her Adirondack pack baskets find her schedule of workshops and her contact info you can also call 315-771-1210 or email adkbasketry at outlook.com.
can see Traveling round the Mohawk Valley Let's see what we can see It's time for the Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week. Serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. Trust your personal, business, and life insurance planning to a local company with over 150 years of serving the community. Turn to Turnbull Insurance. Call today to see what we can do for your family or business. 735-9201 or visit turnbull-insurance.com. Make any day a special day and a special day even better with fresh baked pastries and cookies from Cafe Caruso on Bleecker Street in East Utica. Stop in or call ahead for special orders. The people you know, the rock you love, and more songs per hour. 92.7 FM, The Drive, Central New York's locally owned independent rock station. Celebrate the season at North Star Orchards with poinsettias, wreaths, garland, and Christmas trees. And stocking stuffer candy, citrus, holiday gifts, and baked goods. You'll also find gift baskets perfect for giving in person or shipped anywhere from North Star Orchards in Westmoreland. I love Mohawk Valley Living. We love Mohawk Valley Living. I love Mohawk Valley Living. Hey, I'm Genesee Joe, and I love Mohawk Valley Living. I love Mohawk Valley Living. The Village Crossing has cool coats, sweaters, boots, mittens, and scarves to keep you warm this winter. There are also plenty of sparkles to make your spirits bright. Shop The Village Crossing on West Park Row in Clinton. Shop the 3,000 square feet spilling over with antiques at the Potting Shed. Specializing in American coins, costume jewelry, and fine jewelry. As well as early lighting, stoneware, china, and furniture. The Potting Shed, over 40 years in the same location at 52 Ariskany Boulevard in Whitesboro. You work hard here in the Mohawk Valley. You make a difference. You leave your mark. You deserve a financial advisor who works to make a difference for your future. We work together for you. Investing for retirement, college, thinking about your legacy. Our team is dedicated to giving you straightforward answers for your financial decisions. We pride ourselves on being local, prudent, and trustworthy for you. Van Meter and Van Meter, for your financial future. We're going on a road trip. We visit the home of local goat farmers Susie and Peter Jones in Herkimer. They've been married to each other for 20 years this month and married to their farm since 2003. Although they have had many challenges raising a herd of goats and a family, they wouldn't trade it for anything. Well, Peter and I were both working fairly professionally outside the Boston area and we had our first child. She was probably a year old and it was Peter who said, you know, I'd really like to start a farm. And at the time, I think I chuckled maybe a little bit and said, sure, you go right ahead. That sounds like a fun project for you to research. I certainly didn't expect really anything to happen, but he started looking. The internet's a great, wonderful, and scary thing. And he found, he found properties right away for us to look for right here in the Mohawk Valley. And we, wow, it happened really fast. I think probably what I've learned about myself is that I probably can't go back to the professional world. Um, I, I think what was dramatic and um, really important in an office wouldn't strike me as important and dramatic now um, because our opinions now are mostly, well, if it's not on fire or dying, <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> so I think what I've learned about myself is I can't go back to the real world. <laughs> I'm, I'm unemployable, is, is what it is. <laughs> I mean, we are really very happy. The kids are having a wonderful experience growing up here. Um, I think what makes us the happiest, and certainly makes me the happiest, is having new challenges all the time. And that is farming, in a nutshell, is always new challenges. Um, so that keeps things always interesting. And having it be our business and trying to sell direct to the public, um, making sure that they like our products, it's... It's kind of a constant um, experiment um, that keeps things very interesting. 
Look for Jones Family Farm products at local natural food stores and farmers markets. We hop back on Route 8 and travel about 17 miles south to the beautiful New Berlin countryside, the birthplace of Chobani in 2007. In just five years, the yogurt plant was processing 3 million gallons of milk a day. Today, in 2016, it seems America's love affair with Greek yogurt is still going strong. Chobani first came on the market in 2007, so we're only 10 years old, but in that time we've grown from the original five employees now to over 2,000 globally. We've been proud from the very beginning to source our milk locally, coming from New York farms. So the New Berlin facility is our really our, the workhorse of Chobani. It's where we make all of our core products, the 5.3 ounce cups that you see in the grocery store. We do a lot of uh, strawberry and blueberry and all the, the flavors that consumers love. We are really proud to give back to our communities in a variety of different ways. Um, I think you'll see Chobani at a number of local events like the Boilermaker, uh, Gus Macker in Norwich. We're always out there in the community giving of our volunteer time and also giving freely of our product and really interacting with our fans. And we're, we're proud to be a good neighbor and to give back to the communities in which we live and work. Traveling round. Picks up the young. 